Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Gypsy Lee. I'm Matt Gerber, and we are Scarlet and Harmony. For fans of bands like Thy Order's Murder, Infinite Annihilator, Lorna Shore, Fit for an Autopsy, please feel free to check us out at Scarlet and Harmony on YouTube, Spotify, and anywhere else you may stream music. We'd really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm there in the building! Give me a hell yeah! What is up, dude? How are you? I'm just hanging out. Happy to be here. This is exciting. Hell yeah, we appreciate it, dude. Uh, it threw me off of if I was on the right the right Spotify or not because of the the profile picture. Who is that in the picture right there? It's actually my friend Nicolette. Uh, she does a lot of modeling out of Ohio. Hell yeah! Shout out to Nicolette. Uh, awesome. For those that may not know you, sir, or your music, can you please properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you're kicking it right now. Plug anything you'd like. Uh, my name's Austin. Most people on the internet know me as Ozzy Bear. I make music out of Washington, Indiana, a little place that no one seems to have ever heard of. Um, and I've been doing it a real long time, uh, about 15-ish years. I'm just now finally trying to put myself out there because if I don't do it now, then when will I? This is true. When 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 you started 15 years ago, what was the kind of music you were making? Is it similar to what you're making now or was it com something completely different? I was kind of raised on 80s rock, uh, courtesy of my dad. So um, I started taking drum lessons at 10 back in like 2003 and... It was uh, just a lot of like Quiet Riot, Def Leppard, uh, Poison. But I was also really into like MTV would play like Daft Punk on occasion. And all of a sudden that like new electronic sound I've never heard before just took me to places, you know. So um, it kind of started with, with the EDM, you know, which is why I kind of throw it in now every once in a while. Okay. And I know you're you're a big a Skylet Drive fan, as you have Jordan Blake on a song. How did how did that uh, yeah. collab end up happening? So um, I actually met Jordan at uh, Boney June's in Evansville. I went to watch uh, watch others ghosts and um, added him on Facebook shortly after that. And um, I've messaged him once in a while from then to now. And like I said, just now kind of ready to put myself out there, I decided to start making some big boy moves and, you know, start feeling a little bit exposed, asking some of my buddies like, hey, you want to jump on a track? You want to work together? And I hit Jordan up and he was surprisingly into it. Um, it didn't take much convincing. So I sent him over the track. He really liked it. And it, that was about it, honestly. Hell yeah, cool. I will, we'll play that one here in a second. Uh, I have the rare two co-hosts today, JB Music, JB Music 661, and Michaela, a.k.a. M Michaela Toes. Uh, if, if you guys have a question for us, and go ahead and shoot it off before we play some music. Um, let's see. Favorite like bands or artists growing up? Like, How did you first start getting into music? And um, like, what really made you have the passion to like go for it? and start creating really good question um you know one thing that really caught my interest was Def Leppard because when I found out they had a one-armed drummer I'm like that's impossible that you can't do that right and uh, my dad would show me their live concert DVDs and so that was one of the big things that got me into wanting to drum because that was the very first step I took into music was drumming. Um, I remember, again, a long time ago, uh, American Idiot was premiering on MTV. And I just remember thinking, like, I really want to play that guitar riff. Like, it's such a cool little, like, fast-paced deal. And um, as far as singing, I don't know uh, what actually made me sit there and want to do music. Honest to God, when I was a little kid, I'd steal my mom's pots and pans, and I'd take a couple ink pens, and I would just sit there pretending to drum. And 
That's cool. So, I don't know. I think, I think my dad with the 80s music, I think Def Leppard, you know, it seems like a lot of people don't like them nowadays for some reason, but I think they're pretty wonderful. They are wonderful. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Definitely. The Hall of Fame. Yeah, I, I actually have the Hysteria album on my neck. Oh, hell yeah. Sick. Dude, what's yeah. in your hand right there? Your hand looks like a complicated piece. Like it has a bunch of negative and stuff going on. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a so slicey it's slip a knot in the middle. Logo. Yes. Yeah. Sick. I like Got that. The, that with a nine pointed star. And uh, I'm a big fan of watercolor. So it's like three shots of different colored spray paints on a stencil. Oh. So it's supposed to look like. That's tight. Uh, JB, do you have a question for Austin? I do. So how old were you when you got your neck tats? Because, because I'm debating getting some. Um, I actually got the Def Leppard one just December 2020, so not too long ago. And the other one was a year before that. Cool. Hell yeah. Well, let's, let's go ahead and jam uh, that track with Jordan. And then um, we'll go ahead and set up some trivia here in a bit. Were you able to find some hot sauce? I door dashed it. It's just a matter of Willie Gay here in time. Wait a second. You door dashed hot sauce? What? Yeah, like, hey, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, that first of all, case. kudos to you on the commitment. Yes. Just That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jam up. Uh, small order card. Well, that's just cool of you to do it. I'll stall as long as I can for sure. Let's jam cry, baby. If, if somebody, I know a bunch of people that probably want to collab with you. How would somebody go about contacting you to uh, jump on a track or vice versa? What's the preferred method? Um, so I don't go through featured X or anything like that. It's, it's pretty simplistic. It's just a matter of somebody hitting me up and showing any kind of interest, uh, whether that be Instagram, uh, the Facebook page, um, email. I'm, I'm pretty good about sharing my email everywhere. Fairly I mean, easy. Somebody, Fairly yeah, easy to I reach mean, you, you say. Yeah, any way somebody could get my attention, whether it be like a TikTok comment, anything, you know, just get my attention, we'll, we'll make it happen. Cool. Who's uh, who's somebody in the future that you have on your list that you want to collab with that uh, you think is, is pretty possible to pull off? Without possible like giving away anything, if, if if you're allowed to tell us. Because, you know, there's some sometimes uh, we might want like James Headfield on track, and that's probably fairly hard to pull off. Versus well, like... so one of the guys I really, really want to work with badly, uh, just because I'm such a fan of his vocals, uh, is Rory Rodriguez from Dayseeker. Mm -hmm. and, Never heard and of And they're blowing up. So I thought it would be possible, um, but it seems like it's getting more and more out of reach as they continue to make music. Um, one of my acquaintances is Hans from Woe Is Me. And that's a possibility. We've talked a little bit about that. So that might be a thing in the future. Hell yeah. And with, uh, with Woe being back, I bet that would be like more obtainable now than ever because they'd probably want anything to get, get the word out, features with hands, all kinds of stuff. So that seems like very, yeah. very doable for sure. Um, when, when we do end up doing the trivia, I'm going to ask you what favorite movie, what's your favorite movie or TV show, one that you've seen more than anything so I, I have a little bit of time to start looking up a question, but uh, what movie or TV show have you seen the most that you will not get stumped? Oh, man. Probably Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. Okay. I can work with that. Uh, you guys want to go ahead and ask another question while I, while I look that up real quick? I'm an open book, so you guys can ask anything. Cool. Favorite band or artist all time? Oh, man. I get a lot of shit for this, but it's the Beatles. I love the Beatles. I have a Beatles tattoo. All hey, guys. Need, all you need is love. Hey. Have you, have you ever had a chance to see to see Paul or Ringo live? No, but it, it's on the it's on the list. Um, it's it's got to be soon. Yeah, they're they're getting up there. They're getting up there. I I yeah, saw. I Paul McCartney was the first concert I ever went to. I would think I was like five. It was uh, for Wings. And then... Oh, wow. And then I saw Paul like a year before COVID happened at Dodger Stadium. And I swear he played he played like 45 songs and he doesn't take a sip of water the entire show. That's ridiculous. He, he believes it's rude. It's one of his rules. It's kind of interesting. Okay. But... 
Yeah, I would absolutely adore seeing either one of them. I mean, I'm by Paul's my favorite, so me too. Paul and John were my favorites, but um, hell, Ringo would be cool too. You know, he was there. Yeah, he counts. <laughs> what's a yeah. What's a second song of yours that, that you would prefer we play? So a lot of people have been getting into my end game, which I like that one especially because it's more the direction I'm trying to go in with music. Like I said, I do a lot of the EDM, but like, you know, I'm a post hardcore kid at heart. So songs like Tragedy and My End Game uh, really showcase what I'm shooting for from now on. Let's check it out. My End Game. It's also got my buddy Adam from Dropout Team for that. Uh, Adam? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's a jam right there. So good. I like that yeah, one. That's sweet. Yeah, that was really good. A little bit different than Cry Baby. For sure. And you, this is the direction that you're primarily going to go now, correct? You said? Yes. Uh, I yeah, dig absolutely. it. I dig it. I, I'm, I'm supporting that for sure. Uh, your, your Joker trivia, and it's within, we'll say within two pounds. <laughs> About how much weight? Did Joaquin Phoenix lose for the role of Joker? Oh, man. It's a fairly good amount. I believe it was like, because I have to give one answer. I thought he said about 50 pounds. Mother f I said within two, and it's 52, you son of a. Give me a hell yeah! <laughs> Damn it. Good job. That's sweet. <laughs> Are you a fan of Bluzz? Do you Absolutely. have any Bluzz in your songs? Not yet. I'll tell you what. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm out. That's that hot sauce is hot. Dragon's breath hot sauce. Woo! Dragon's breath. Dude, if you could, uh, if you could play anywhere in the world, sold out show, twenty thousand plus people. What country are you playing it in? Probably, probably the UK. Just because I want to go there. Pretty cool. I've never been to the UK ever. Uh, I hear England's like crazy expensive, but uh, neither here or there. I've just never been there. Oh, my mouth's on fire yeah, from that one. Whew. Uh, it's what did it land on? Oh yeah, the blah. Uh, let's see. Uh, JB, do you have another question for Austin? When it came it comes to all your music, which which song do you think you would like boast about or just like try to brag that hey, this is my music? Um, man, I don't, I don't know because I'm one of those, like I, I deal with a lot of depression and so I have a lot of self doubt and I have, you know, people, cause I have quite a few followers on TikTok and people always let me know how much they like the music, but I'm, I'm one of those, uh, I guess I seem humble about it where it's hard for me to do that. So I probably by default just to answer to the best of my ability would be like one of the songs with a feature on it because it, I was able to make that happen. So that could be a uh, tragedy because Mikey for misfortunes on that. Um, Adam's on my end game and Jordan's on cry baby. Uh, maybe cry baby. Cause I got to do it with Jordan. That was pretty cool. Hell yeah. <clears throat> uh, Michaela, one more question for Austin also. Um, favorite munchie snack. I'm pretty basic. I, I'm a huge fan of those uh, wavy lace. Just plain, plain wavy lace. Yeah, like no favorite. dip, just straight up. Are you are you a stoner? Not anymore. <laughs> when you were hybrid in the color sativa. Um, I ate a lot of ice cream then. So indica to get hungry for ice cream. I'll take it. It would just be like chocolate ice cream. Hell yeah. Are you are you into cars at all? I don't know shit about cars. Do you know what your favorite car that you would buy if all of a sudden a million dollars fell on your lap? Oh, man. 
Um, let's say let's know. say a million plus whatever this car costs. So once you buy the car, you still got a million. I don't know. see. Uh, back in the day, I remember seeing Van Margera had a purple Lambo, and then one of the twins from Good Charlotte had a Lambo, and I just kind of got sucked into the whole Lambo thing. So maybe a Lamborghini. That's cool. I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. I'm gonna look up uh, one more one more Joker trivia, but I do want to hear tragedy to see uh, to see what Mikey does real quick. So fair warning, um, Mikey is actually only doing the harmonies and the chorus, the high harmonies. And we talked about him having his own section of the song. And we just figured it was better to do it as a subtle move. So every time that chorus rolls around, he's in that. Okay, we'll listen for it. Yo, I'm determined to stump you, and I'm going to try it again one more time right now. Within two years. What time, what year does the movie Joker take place? Bonus point if you can explain why. Um, I think it was 1981. And... Take place in 81. First of all, uh, that, is, that is correct. Uh, Son of a... <laughs> But why? I, <laughs> what was the reasoning I why I Todd Phillips did that? About, see, I don't remember if it was why they picked that time frame uh, for the character or just for filming. Well, you're right either way. It is 1981. Uh, the answer is to avoid all the events in the DC universe that were occurring currently. But that is correct. We were not able to stump you today, sir. Damn it. I mean, well played. Hey, yo. All right, Michaela, go ahead and set up a uh, final question, and then uh, we'll all do a round of final questions, and we'll let you go, Austin, but we appreciate you hanging with us. Ladies and gentlemen, you can you please have your attention. Final question. Let's Don't. see. If you could tour the world with any band or artist, who would you go on tour with? I think the easy answer would be Silverstein, just because I think I've drawn 90% of influence from them. So I feel like they would be a very like-minded band to be around for that long. And I feel like anyone in the crowd would hopefully appreciate the two of us you know, being there and performing together. So probably Silver Ski. That's awesome. That's a good answer. JB? Do you use Spotify? Um, I, even though my music's on Spotify, I don't use it so much. I typically use YouTube music. YouTube music. Okay, right on. Same with me. Um, yeah. So when it comes to listening to your music then, um, do, are you more into finding new music or are you a person that is, uh, I'm going to repeat this, the same music I've been repeating for the last couple, you know, year or whatever. Um, I'm kind of like set in my ways, but I, you know, if I wasn't looking out for new bands at all, I wouldn't have discovered bands like Day Seeker or uh, Mariana's Trench, which I both, I like both of them a lot. So I, I'm looking for new music nowadays. Is there, is there an easy way to find it on YouTube for you? Or do you find it just kind of like the word of mouth? Uh, my friends know really well the kind of stuff I like. So they'll often send me things. Um, but also on YouTube music, like, you know, when you, when you uh, like a track or you listen to a lot of the same tracks, it'll start doing like, uh, like the, know, alg the algorithm. Band. Yeah, and it, it's shown me a lot of stuff I didn't realize I liked. My Our algorithm is completely f because we, we sub and like everything we hear on this channel, so I, I get it like it's not correct for us. It's, it just gives us <laughs> a little bit of everything. Uh, final two questions. Chad wants to know how you found Local Band Smoke Out. Uh, through the interviews with Jordan Blake. Um, after we got our song going, I hadn't released it yet. And uh, I was looking up um, interviews and uh, new live footage because, you know, they're 
they're just I think they just got done with that last tour, didn't they? Uh, they were getting ready to start the tour, uh, which was the Swan Fest one, I believe. We well, we've interviewed them like thirteen times, so I'm not sure which one you're referring to. But <laughs> well, I just I know the the anniversary. If you watch the sky, they were playing a lot. Oh yeah, that. yeah. We went to the show so, at the whiskey. It was good. it was a good one. So I I was looking into that though, you know, kind of seeing how they sounded coming back, uh, just how things were going. And I found you guys down that rabbit hole. Hell yeah, cool. Very cool. Uh, final question for you, sir, and then we'll let you go. And we appreciate your time, as mentioned. Uh, what is, what is a, a, it's a two-part question. A piece of okay. musical advice that somebody in the industry has given you at some point in your career that kind of just was like an eye-opener, made you take your career more seriously, or... In the 15 years you've been making music, you made a terrible mistake once. Maybe it was an investment into something, something you didn't need to have that set you back that you don't want this starting up band to make. Oh, man. So much has happened in this journey. That's, <laughs> that's so hard to say. Um, I think the, the, the one I can't answer right now is the best advice I've gotten is... Um, and it goes, generally speaking, it's not just music related, but, you know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And me always being so discouraged. I just said that today, too. I used that Wayne Gretzky quote. Yes. It's good advice. And, mm -hmm. it is. you know, and I don't want to sound discouraging saying this, but, you know, the fact is there will always be people that do not like my music. There may be people on here right now that don't like it, and there will be people that hear it and think it's the worst shit they've ever heard. But it's inevitable. And once you've accepted that that's inevitable, you can move forward and go on with confidence, knowing it's not going to be for everybody, and that's okay. Because it will be for some people, you know? That is fantastic advice. I, I wish every artist had that. that mindset. Just it's, just don't care. Just just be happy as long as you're making the music that makes you happy. Some people will like it, some people won't. Who cares? Do it for the people that like it. I love and that. I think the the thing to try and steer clear of is the only time things um, have not worked out is overthinking. You know, it kind of falls in the same category as the advice. I just gave um don't don't talk yourself out of it you know go, go for it i i think regret is the one thing that's haunted me the most is you know not taking advantage of every good opportunity that i've had you know thinking well what's the point you know no one will care like you cannot be in that mindset you know i mean this with complete respect i feel like this is one of the most uh you're one of the most confident and intelligent interviews we've had in a long time. And I appreciate thank the you. advice that you've given us. I think your music's fantastic. Uh, thank you for coming on, sir. Ozzy Bear, you are awesome, brother. Uh, is there, is so there, much. is there, uh, is there anything we can expect in the near future? A new single, anything you want to plug coming out soon before we let you go? Well, one thing I feel obligated to plug is my merch store, and it's just ozzybear.com. Um, I've got a couple artist friends that help me out with the designs, and I'm always putting cool stuff on there. We just recently got a couple designs that were made to look like those OG Hot Topic designs, like the Devil Wars Prada used to use, and uh, so it's got like the little cartoon monsters on it. Those are pretty cool. I love but, it. Um, other than that, I, I am trying to push what I would call an album because uh, an EP is what three to six songs. This thing is like eight songs, but the whole thing is going to be that post hardcore vibe. And uh, I'm trying to get that out soon, but it's just, you know, so maybe spring 2023. Yes. Definitely. Cool. Excellent. Hell yeah. Excellent. Austin, you're an absolute pleasure, sir. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, Ozzy back. Give me a hell yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much Thank you for having me. Awesome. Don't be shy. Open the hot sauce another time. I, I'm sorry I couldn't make you open it this time, but. Can I drink some before I go? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. Damn, love son. It. <laughs> He's going hey. in. He's going Damn. in. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, dude. Have a great day, man. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. See ya. Cheers.